So an investigation after 400 calves are found dead on a limerick farm. Wow, what's going on here? I thought farmers loved their animals. We love our cows. We, we actually look after our animals uh, as well as we do our family. I do this job day in and day out because of my love for the cow. Clearly farmers are only farming cows because they love these cows and they care about the cow's interest. It's not to make money. It's not to slaughter them for their bodies and make money off of selling their bodies. It's not a business. Farmers are actually just sanctuary owners who love their cows, aren't they? Well, let's have a look here. Let's see how much farmers really love their animals. The Department of Agriculture has begun an investigation at a Limerick farm after almost 400 calves were found dead. The animals, predominantly Frisian and Jersey type bull calves, were discovered on the farm in south of Limerick. It's understood that the calves died due to a variety of issues including disease and malnutrition. The discovery was made following a complaint from a neighbor over a smell. The ISPCA spokesperson said that the ISPCA were made aware of a situation allegedly involving a large number of dead calves on 29th of August and has established that the matter is being dealt with by the Department of Agriculture. Okay, dealt with. How do they deal with it? I don't know. The ISPCA. Let's look up the ISPCA. The Irish Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Got a lot of dogs and cats here. Just dogs and cats. Lambing season. So basically, we need to protect the lambs. Um, so stop dogs from attacking the sheep because you don't want a dog to attack the sheep before the farmers send the, the sheep to a slaughterhouse to get attacked. Dogs, cats, rabbits. Dogs, cats, rabbits. What's this? A chicken. Today's wild cage free day. Millions of animals suffer in cages in the cage age. Okay, so it's fine to eat animals as long as they're not in the cage. Because animals who aren't in cages don't mind being slaughtered. And the ISPCA, I would suggest, are a, just a welfare organisation. They're not concerned with stopping meat consumption. Last year, 270 dead calves were discovered on a farm specifically set up as a calf rearing unit in northeast Galway. Calves had died as a result of disease and malnutrition. Another farm in Galway that just really looks after and cares for their animals. At the time, that incident was viewed as one of the biggest animal welfare incidents in history. Wow, well, this one has beat it out with 400 dead. Frisian and Jersey dairy bred bull calves. So these are bull calves, right? And bull calves are usually discarded by the industry. Maybe they wanted to use them for beef, but if they all died, suffered and died, I don't know if the farmer would count that as a massive loss. Um, it's interesting that the farmer wasn't too concerned with them dying. Just speculatively, it could be an opinion that maybe the farmer didn't really care if they died. You know, maybe it was just like a good way of getting rid of 400 bull calves that he probably might not have been able to sell. Typically dairy bull calves are of low value animals with poor potential to fatten for the beef trade due to their dairy genetics, exactly. Unless they use um, uh, beef cattle semen to impregnate the dairy cow. Generally, dairy bred bull calves are not economically viable for farmers. It's not to say some farmers don't grow them and sell them for beef, but it's generally not what they want to do. They probably want to just get rid of them for veal, kill them on the farm, or in this farmer's case, let 400 of them suffer and die from disease. Roughly 200,000 of these types of calves are exported every year to veal farms in Europe, while those that remain are sometimes sold for as little as five euros each. They are worth nothing. So 400 times five, what's that? Well, that's a couple of grand, but that's if he can sell them. Maybe the farmer couldn't sell them. Who knows what happened here? Figures from the Department of Agriculture show there are nearly half a million more calves born to dairy dams each year. You know, because dairy cows need to have a calf in order to produce milk. And if they're not a female, they can't really make up the dairy herd. And they're not that good for beef. So this guy who runs this Limerick farm, I don't, haven't seen the investigation, but it could be my opinion that he didn't care too much about them. They died due to disease and malnutrition. So what happened to the farmer being out there four in the morning feeding the calves the, the formula? You know, because they take the calves away from the mother because they care about the calf's welfare so much. They don't want the, the dairy cows to step all over their babies and kill them, right farmers? That's what you do. That's why you separate the calves, isn't it? Absolute load of crap. You separate the calves because you don't want the calves drinking the milk and the bull calves, you don't really care about all that too much, do you? You don't really care about them. Not all dairy farms act in the same way, but here is a very good example of a dairy farm that let 400 calves suffer from disease and malnutrition. Did not care one iota. There you go. The dairy industry in Ireland as well. I thought Irish dairy farms were like the highest of high welfare. Like, look at the grass. Have a look at that. They let them on the grass. Look, this one here's got a, their, own little, their own little slave number on their back. Wow, and what happens to these dairy cows? What happens to these dairy mothers that have lost their calves? 
and the calves have suffered and died. Did the calves suffer and die on the same farm? Yeah. Could the mothers hear them screaming out for help? Maybe. But, you know, the cow- uh, cows are just stupid animals. Cows are just stupid animals. They don't care about their young. You know, where will these dairy cows go? To get a bolt gun in the skull and be turned into minced meat. The farmer will only care for them as much as it helps their pocket. And then they'll send them to the slaughterhouse to be turned into burgers. Let's see if there's any pickups from this. The farmer since had over 100 live calves seized as an investigation into animal welfare is underway. This is good. They seized the calves. Where did the calves go when they're seized? To another farmer to get slaughtered, maybe? I don't know. The conditions of these live animals were not clear, but it was understood some of them needed to be euthanized. Why would you need to euthanize cows? I always thought dairy farmers just love their cows so much and that vegans was just so crazy to suggest that farmers are just using them as products and resources. This was just eye-opening to me. Police are working with the Department of Agriculture to investigate further. Farming sources have said investigators will have to consider that a virus may have been partly or wholly responsible for the animals dying in Colimerick. Now, that's probably what the farmer said, it's a virus, you know, there's this virus that killed them all. But you know what, mate? That doesn't explain why you let them suffer and die and didn't get a vet down there as an emergency and someone had to report them because of a smell from decomposing calves. So, yeah, maybe a virus did it, okay? Benefit of the doubt, let's give you the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to give you the benefit of the doubt to this person. I think they just neglected these animals and didn't care about them and they suffered and died. But let's just say it was a virus. Someone had to wait to smell dead animals before help came. But you love these animals. Farmers love their cows. You know, absolute nonsense. How is one farmer supposed to look after that many animals anyway? Probably just wiped his hands with them and let them die. The amount of suffering that goes on on dairy farms is just incomprehensible. The Taoiseach or Prime Minister, Michael Martin said, this goes to the heart of Ireland's sustainability as a food producing country. It's not food. That is not food. That is animal slavery and killing and suffering. Potatoes are food. Dairy is stolen breast milk from a suffered mother who has lost their calf. And their calves, in this case, had suffered from malnutrition to death and to our reputation in terms of animal welfare. It's extremely important that we get to the bottom of this particular issue. Well, you know what, Michael Martin? Why don't you abolish animal agriculture in your country if you truly did care about animal welfare? True welfare is not exploiting and not killing and recognizing the rights of these animals and recognizing them as subjects of a life and not exploiting them for every drop of milk they have, for every calf they have, and for the flesh off of their bones when you can't get any more milk out of them. So what do you think about this story, everyone? Leave your comments down below. Are you surprised by this? Are you surprised that you know, a farmer let 400 calves die? Do you expect nothing less from the industry? An industry that just propagates so much propaganda to people, green grass, green pastures, we care about our animals. But us as vegans, investigators and animal rights people know what goes on behind that veil. And uh, to me, this isn't surprising. Maybe it is to the Irish public, who knows? The best way to avoid supporting places like this is to boycott. Live vegan, buy the plant-based milk, no suffering cows on the end of that. Peace.